I am always Team Davy, but whoa! <laughs> if I have to choose, no hard feelings. It's fine. It's fine. Just do it. Just do it. Ben. <gasps> I would like to just point out yeah. that um, Horna, when she was acting with Common, would lose her accent <laughs> because she was so turned on by him in his presence. Also, aesthetically, season two costumes. Everything. Thank they hit. Them. They hit. They hit different. They hit different. Yeah, they're so cool. True. I'm Lang Fisher, and this is Entertainment Weekly's Around the Table, and I'm here with the cast of Never Have I Ever. Let me introduce you to them. This is Maitre Ramakrishnan, Lee Rodriguez, Richard Morjani, Porna Jagannathan, and Ramona Young. <laughs> Guys, how can you be so sure? When you're old and on your deathbed, whose naked body do you want to be picturing? Wouldn't I be thinking about my kids and grandkids and stuff? No, that's a myth. So, before we start the round table, mm -hmm. Lang, question to you. Okay. How did you come up with the idea for Never Have I Ever, and where did you get started with it all? For those of you who don't recognize me by my face, I am the other creator, along with Mindy Kaling, of the television show Never Have I Ever. We came up with the idea because we were looking to make a show about an Indian American family and uh, to feature a cool teen show that had a, a young Indian American teen. And so we sort of talked about all the possibilities of, of what we wanted to do and um, and we kind of like came upon this one where we we thought of like a girl who had we had all the trappings of a normal teen show where we had like romance and a love triangle and and really good best friends but also where she had like a deep wound and where she was going through something you know we've seen a lot of tv shows where you have a teen girl who's sort of awkward and like a wallflower and we wanted a girl who was like full of rage yeah. and especially to have like an asian american girl who's full of rage and like isn't you know just like a diffident like obedient like shy girl like a girl who just has a giant personality and who really like acts out and gets herself into crazy situations and um so that is how we kind of piece together what is now the show never have i ever whoop, whoop. guys sophomore year is gonna be our year you can feel it but we're not cool we a not cool person wear one dangly earring which brings me to my plan we're rebranding i have chosen attainable yet status enhancing people for each of us today hey jonah you smell great today it's forever by mariah carey Oh. Now, Maitre, I shall take over. <laughs> okay. I shall be the one asking the questions. Take so, over, take over. This is kind of to all of you. When did you realize after the show aired that it was a hit? After the show, like after the show came out? Because honestly, I knew it was going to be a hit after I read the pilot script. Straight up. Like that's my, I'm not even trying to gas really you up. Really nice. Like I'm not even trying to gas you up. Like, yeah. I read the pilot script and all of my homies back in Canada were like, like are you excited? I'm like, no, this is really funny. I didn't even know where the whole show was going to go, but I knew this show is going to just make all the waves around the world. That's how I felt, like genuinely. What about you, Lee? Honestly, she was very like from the jump, really gung-ho about it. And honestly, I feel like it kind of like ripple affected to everybody. We're like, yeah. just her like passion and her like really like, no, this show's going to be a hit, guys. Like I'm telling you straight up. I don't know. It just kind of like, we all got really excited about it. So Kind of same thing, like from the beginning, like I was like, okay, this is it. Like this show is gonna be really good. But what about guys like after it dropped, like and like people were talking about it and like people were like TikToking about it and that stuff. Like Richa, what did, did you get any like feedback immediately? Well, I think, yeah, I think social media was such a huge part of how we saw the success of the show. Mm -hmm. And because we were all trapped in our homes. Exactly. Yeah. And yeah. Even going back before the pilot, when Mindy had posted about the casting call for Kamala, Devi, and Nalini, from that moment, I knew that this was going to be something so, not just funny and special, but also um, important and needed mm -hmm. by, um, I'll speak for us at least, you know, by brown people, by the brown community. We never have shows like this. Yeah. So um, I think there was, when the, when the trailer came out, when the show came out, people were just so excited about it because whether they were brown or not, it's such a relatable story. And yeah. I think that, especially during a time like COVID, it was, um, 
the best time for it to come out. I think people felt a little bit like it was kind of like a relief, like or it was like, you Release know, like, as well, yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Porna, yeah. what about you? When my mother started getting a lot of phone calls from random people, yeah. and when she was super nice to me and would call me all the time to give me little updates, I was like, wow, okay, the show is <laughs> really hitting. Uh, I'm not on TikTok, I, I don't know that world, but I, I, st I started uh, seeing things that just meant a lot more than what a simpler show could have done, like the fact that uh, the character of Mohan shows up as such a great South Asian father for my three. Like comments like that just started sprinkling in, and so the show was connecting at a deeper level. And when 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 any show connects at that level, yeah, there's something other than just popularity. Like oh, you know, like a like a like a, a show that's fluffy. There's a resonance uh, that happened. Um, with the show that I was really blown away by. Ramona, what about you? I honestly don't think it's really registered yet in my head how big of an effect we've had. Like I've heard the numbers of like, oh, over 40 million views or whatever, but it just feels so abstract to me still. Mm -hmm. But I do get a lot of like DMs and messages and comments telling me how much they love the show and how much it's impacted them. So in that sense, I feel like we've really like made waves and that makes me feel good, so yeah. yeah makes me feel good too. Yeah, of course. All right. So here's the thing, I'm into you. Like, I could name every class you've had for the last two years, but I won't do that. And I know you'd never be my boyfriend because you're you and I'm me, but I was wondering if you would ever consider uh, having sex with me? Now that we've finished, shooting season two you know everything that happens mm -hmm. what are you without spoiling anything what are you the most excited about fans seeing in season two okay ideas about I, what you like? i would say what i'm excited about is for people to see the drama like more amped up yeah. and just a lot of the awkward situations that happen and just for everyone to like grow continue to grow with everybody's characters and i feel like everybody kind of the same thing as season one like have something to take away from it that they like relate to um i'm very excited about nelny's new um very hot and very brief love interest yeah um that comes her way and how she deals with it and super hot yeah <laughs> i would like to just point out that um Porna, when she was acting with Common, would lose her accent because she was so turned on by him in his presence. And I would have to come to set and be like, hey, you're, you're not Indian anymore. You like have to you have become full American. You're just a woman at a bar talking to him. <laughs> My favorite comment from Lang is like, what you're doing is this a lot? And you have to remember the character. She's a lot more put together and calm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm very excited for everyone to see Common too. He's, he's terrific. Yeah. Ramona, what about you? Yeah, um, I think the storylines get way juicier just because we've established everyone and we know everyone and now it's like, now we get to explore the drama that happens relationship wise. Mm -hmm. Also, aesthetically, season two costumes Everything. Thank they hit. They hit. They hit different. Thank you for they hit that different. Up. Yeah, they're so cool. True. Yeah, That's everyone so true. had cool. It was every day was like, whoa, what are those shoes? Can yeah. I have those? Yeah. Like, yeah. what is that? That's yeah. great. Yeah. 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 Salvador really like stepped yeah. up the game, right? Yeah. He did. This is my last chance for an American high school boyfriend. Good morning, Ben. Good morning, Paxton. That's why I have to figure out my boy situation stat. What's the alternative? You just date two guys until you move to India? <laughs> So you're saying I should just have two boyfriends? No. Definitely not. Oh my God. I have two boyfriends. Yeah, I mean, everyone has like kind of a juicy romantic story this, yeah. Yeah. this season, which is fun. I yeah, feel like- Everyone has romance. Mm -hmm. Everyone has romance exactly. and everyone I think has like a personal, like deep personal struggle, like in like a sort of identity struggle mm -hmm. too. Yeah. Lee, let's talk about your, your storyline. Mm-hmm. Kind of with Fabiola, what I think is really funny and really interesting is just how she kind of goes through life just very like walking on eggshells and just very kind of unsure of herself all the time, which yeah. I can relate to 100%, just very unsure of how she feels in certain situations. 
but um, I think I think like her transformation and her evolution in season two is very important, mm -hmm. and I feel like a lot of uh, people will resonate with it, mm -hmm. which I'm really excited for people to see. I feel like it's a very like, you know. Uh, it's interesting. I think a lot of times in in shows you see a character come out and you know and then it seems like life is like just like easy for them and that's just not the truth of it, you know? Like there's still so much about yourself you have to discover and you still are insecure about so much and I think she's on this like very interesting journey. Mm -hmm. Now my trade, let's talk about Davy for a second. Honestly, if without any spoilers, straight up I think season 2 might just be better than season one. Yeah. I would put money on that. I would honestly tell the fans, like, don't even watch the season two trailer. Please watch the season two trailer. But, like, mm -hmm. also don't because I just want all of the surprises coming your guys' way. But for Davey, without any spoilers, you know, just like with Lee's character, Fabiola, yeah, she came out and now she's going to figure out how life is beyond that. Davey began to confront her grief. Yeah. She only mm -hmm. just spread the ashes at the beach, and now she's going to go on this whole journey of figuring out, okay, where are we at now with her headspace? And I think that probably was like the really most refreshing thing of filming season two for me. Yeah. Just exploring where is Davy at, still yeah, because being she her best friend, who was her father. Yeah, she thinks that she's all better. She's yeah. like, I did it. Now I'm fine. <laughs> yeah. And, it's and that's, like, that's such a real thing. Like, I know personally for me, I like to... Like, as Maitre, I always like to say, like, yeah, I'm fine, like, I'm good, I'm better. Because we don't want to be imperfect, but Davey is so far from perfect. Yeah. You want to be better. So, like, mm -hmm. it's like, especially teenagers, they, like, don't want to, like, have to deal yeah. with, like, pain. And, mm -hmm. like, they're just like, I'm fine, I'm cool. And so yeah. I think that it really is, like, a good... Um, story and then like yeah romance or whatever but like yeah I think but the fans the romance or whatever the fans are like a <laughs> saying gets my super brainy side Paxton gets my mega horny side you kissing your father's ashes have barely begun to drift out to sea I just got overcome with emotion what are you gonna do at my funeral just have sex on top of my grave I pray it's a closed casket. Um, so, Richa, we have some interesting areas we're getting into with Kamala. You want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah. Um, well, once again, without giving anything away, one thing I was really excited about when I read the scripts for season two was when I was doing press for season one, a question I got a lot was, what do you hope for Kamala in season two? Two of the things that I said were I really hope to see a lot more of Kamala at her lab, at her school, because she's a brilliant PhD student and we didn't really get to see much of that um, in season one. That's such a common experience of people moving here for school and for higher education and what that's like for them. And especially as a woman and as a brown woman, what the challenges she has to face would be. So that's something we do get to see in season two, which I'm so excited about and we have some amazing guest stars who are hilarious and Feel just it. add so much to the yeah. show. Um, and then another thing I said was I want to see Kamala and Davey uh, have more of a sister bond, have more of a close relationship because in season one um, it's not really like that. So we do see them bonding a little bit in season two and becoming more like sisters. Mm -hmm. Yeah and you both in season two I think you both like in season one you were sort of this like foil for yes. Davey to be like She's perfect, I'm not. She's the daughter you wanted, I'm not. And in season two, you realize that like, there's a lot that Davy can actually teach Kamala exactly. too about how to be in the world. So I think yeah. that you both learn a bunch from and each other. And going off of that, we think that Kamala is so perfect in season one, but in season two, we really see other sides to her, her rage and her messiness. And so I'm and it's super refreshing. excited that. Yeah. It's refreshing. Yeah. It's, it's real. Cool. Maybe, don't be too beautiful cousin. <laughs> I'm not that beautiful. <laughs> Sorry, are you a model? Oh, thank you so much. No, I'm a biologist. I could never be a model. I'm too curvaceous. I know this sounds crazy, but would you want to get dinner? Hey, buddy, keep it moving. Take your broke ass bike and get out of here. This can't keep happening. My recycling bins can't take much more of this. How is filming season two different than filming season one? It wasn't one? different at all. What? Now, this is a two part question. A, because of COVID, yes. obviously. But B, like, how did it feel, like, actually filming a season two after the success of, of season one? Did you feel like you had, there was more pressure? Did you feel, like, you know, more relaxed? Like, what did, how, what were your feelings about it? Taking COVID out of the equation of filming season two, bluntly, straight up, I did feel a lot of pressure filming season two. Because I guess season one, I came in, but thinking, like, okay, I just got to learn what everything is because it's my first job and first go at it ever in my yeah. life so I just had to really worry about doing a good job but then when it's out there in the world it became real 
Yeah. While filming season one, I was like, this is just, I'm having a fun time. Mm -hmm. Then it came out and people had their opinions and thoughts and you know, there's all the accolades that we got mm -hmm. and it added that pressure of like, oh no, you gotta keep it up because the last thing you want is someone to tell you it's a fluke. Right. So mm -hmm. that would run in my head a lot with the pressures of COVID and making sure no one gets sick or I don't get sick, my mom with me, anybody that I care about. At the end of the day, I still wouldn't trade it for anything. Like I truly yeah. love acting and I did have a blast. It was yeah. really fun, despite masks and seeing half of people's faces. And then yeah. when they took off their masks, oh my god, face, oh my you god. were like, what? Oh my god, you're gorgeous. Yeah. It's just like, wow. Yeah. It was so nice, but yeah. I truly, like, all the pressure aside, I still think all of us did a great job. Like, I know I had my pressures, but I hope you guys, whether or not you had your pressures, you guys know you absolutely rocked it. I think we only all settled into our characters even more. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. For sure. I feel like if anything, you know, it, COVID added an extra layer of challenge, but I, it did feel like people kind of rolled in and were like more comfortable and kind of felt like it was more like home and family and, and seemed like a, there were other, you know, perks of it having done it before, yeah. having yeah. been these characters yeah. for a while. I felt like we felt like so much more of a family in season two, Just, yeah. despite COVID and like not being able to like hug each other and we still did it sometimes, but you know, we're not supposed to really be together mm -hmm. so much. And, um, but I still feel like we bonded so much mm -hmm. behind the scenes and I really felt like we became such a family this season. Mm -hmm. All of us, not just mm -hmm. the TV family. It's a literal thrill that like, I feel like everyone is like, best friends like I feel like like I feel like I've introduced you to your best friends yeah. literally. Literally. thank literally. you for that like literally <laughs> I don't know what I'd do without these guys I know I it's so cute about. like I remember when we started season two and it was like you guys were like living together yeah. and we were like what <laughs> oh yeah the sky so the, the zoom <laughs> they've moved in together yeah. all right anybody else want to speak yeah. to this pressures and anything okay Any yeah totally um like you said like we've all become so close and i feel like i always have way too much on set to where it felt so easy that i scared myself and i'm like am I doing a good job? I can't tell because this feels too comfortable and too easy and I'm having way too much fun, so. Didn't we say like sometimes going to set is like kindergarten? It really <laughs> is. It's just like, what are we doing? Like, we should not be <laughs> goofs. We're just goofs. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lang, for when we goof. Yeah, so sorry. No, really it's, sorry. I mean, honestly, like, you know, as a showrunner, I was very stressed out because of the COVID of it all and it made me feel like scared about like asking actors to remove masks and, and you're a new mom. Yeah, and I'm a new mom. And, you know, I, I think just having, like, having everyone, you know, come to set during such a crazy time, I felt, I felt responsible for everyone in this way. But the fact that everyone seemed like they were having a good time was yeah. actually very, like, soothing to me. Yeah. Because I was just like, oh, they want to be here. So that's good. Like, yeah. instead of me being like, put your lives in danger and come, like, shoot yeah. a teen show. You in know? a way, though, I feel like it actually brought us everyone who was on set, the cast and the crew and the, the whole production, I feel like it brought us closer together because we were in each other's bubble. Like I personally mm -hmm. didn't really see, see any else. friends. Yeah. I didn't even see my family. Like yeah. we only saw each other for yeah. what was supposed to be like a couple sense. months, but turned into like four or five months. Yeah. So it really did bring us closer together. Yeah. But also like you'll hear from, from everyone on set, it's the best set that anyone's ever worked yeah. on. Yeah. And I think, you know, it, my three is super down to earth and she always sets the tone and is always so super friendly. And, you know, I and Lang, you and Mindy, like there's just a tone of this is a great team is the best team. But it's also uh, the transition from team to family happened within not only the cast, but the entire crew. I everyone. have mm -hmm. so much yeah. deep love and respect for everyone who try to make it do their best to make it work. And. And everyone will literally tell you it's the best set they've ever worked on. Yeah, yeah I feel the same way. I loved it. Yeah. I like, <laughs> yeah. you know, I, I, the like final day, I like burst into tears because I got like a star. Like someone gave me a <laughs> it was, star. It was good. The it star, was, like the I crew remember. star. And I was like, this is amazing. Do you think I'm crazy? You never take no for an answer. <laughs> you never let anyone get in the way of what you want. Yeah, so. Pay attention. I'm a changed woman. I'm as chill as a Slurpee, bro. Pay My mom doesn't tell me how to live my life. Megan Thee Stallion does. I think the juiciest question is like, are you team Paxton or team Ben? Is that what you're asking? Yeah, that is a question. I'm gonna set the tone right now, right here. Right here on Entertainment Weekly. Team Davey, self-love. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep riding this train till the end. Team Davey, that's it. That's all I gotta say. That's yeah. it. 
I am always Team Davy, but whoa! <laughs> if I have to choose, if this is what the people want to know, if I really am Don't Team Team Paxton or Team Ben, no hard feelings. It's fine. It's fine. Just do it. Just do it. Ben. <gasps> Whoa! Fab Fabiola isn't Team Ben at all, but Lee... Lee Rodriguez. Lee Rodriguez says... Wow. My, my, ben. Ben. my jaw is dropping. I didn't I'm, know where I she was going to go. That was thrilling. I'm I mean, so glad you said I feel someone. like this is, this is what the people want. They want yeah. to know. Yeah. I, I would probably want to plead the fifth on this one, but I'm going to go with Fabio. Uh, sorry, I just called you Fabiola. No, okay. I'm going to go with Lee and say Ben, too. Are we wow. ditching? Okay, I thought I was setting Literally the tone, guys. in shock. <laughs> thought I was setting the tone. I am Team... Geometry book for sure. Oh, <laughs> geometry oh, yeah. book. Yeah, it's just like yes, like that's it. I there's even in life. I'm like, don't even worry about these two. There's a fourth, fifth option down the line, which is coming yeah. very soon. Don't even worry about it. Focus on your <laughs> focus on your studies and be team. Like I love when Davy's team dad. You know, my love. It's my be most beautiful moments. That's team so dad. Sweet. That's sweet. Okay, no, no, pressure, no pressure. I'm just gonna totally trust my intuition on this. Um, well, first of all, duh, Team Davy. But if I had to choose, oh my God. wow, <laughs> Team Ben or Team Paxton, I'm gonna say Team Paxton. Oh, how do you feel? How do you feel now? I wasn't you expecting. Live, I wasn't you live once. That Okay. <laughs> wow. I wasn't expecting wow. Why yeah, not, but you live why, for a really long time. Why not make some mistakes that you won't regret? I'm oh, so wow. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, you we do, know guys. how you feel. Watch it. <laughs> I, and shocked. just to chime in here, as yeah, what, you, person, what? is she allowed? Are you allowed to say what you think? Because you're like, well, I, you're like no, God. I, I'm, I'm not going to say what I think because I am, I am God. But I, <laughs> um, uh, but I will say, just for the fans, the writers' room is split in half. It's completely split in half, <laughs> and we have debates constantly. So there's not like a current winner of who is actually. We don't know who she's gonna end up with, if anyone. But like, we are, there's a real, like a real fight going on in the writer's Is there room. like a third that's Team Davy? No, no one's Team Davy. Okay. <laughs> no one's team cool. I'm just kidding, cool. we're all Team Davy, but in terms yeah. of your love life, we are split, so it could be anything. Whoa. This has been Entertainment Weekly's Around the Table with the cast of Never Have I Ever. Be sure to check out the new season only on Netflix.